Good evening and welcome. I'm a local resident, I live up off uh, Mead Street there and we've been coming out for the past couple of weeks because uh, there's been a lot of opposition to the meters going in, the local residents don't want them. Um, now in spite of that they've been going on ahead and in some instances the, the workers here have acted with impunity and have endangered uh, people's health as well and have been allowed to do so. Um, there seems to be a huge guard of presence here. It seems to What's that one? What's that one? What's that one? Get the fuck off! Hey! Stop it! 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 Calm down, 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 um, but on Monday it all came to me, I woke to, there were 30 or 40 guards, there were trucks, there were workmen, and there were protesters, and I just went out the door and I joined the protest. Sooner or later, they better realise that it's, it's, uh, it's not going to happen, they're not going to get them in. More than 100,000 people are expected to turn out at local rallies organised by the Right to Protest campaign today. Over 90 protests are going to take place across the country in opposition to the disputed water charges. Here in Swords, North County Dublin, people started gathering around 11am this morning. Look, at this This is only one of uh, almost a hundred uh, protests, so I think it's an opportunity to give people uh, a say on this issue in their local community. It's a signal to the local politicians in each area that it's their voters who are coming out to say enough, it's time to abolish the charge. Angry protesters make their voices heard as the Taoiseach departs an official engagement in Rohini in North Dublin. Up to 30 people surrounded his car, chanting against the introduction of water charges. But you always have a way out. I've asked you already, yeah, how do you have to arrest the arrest you? And how do you have to arrest the arrest you? Because cancer, and I apologise, I can't on the ground. But will you apologise? He does not give a damn. And he proves that every time, because he does not change anything, he doesn't come to the people. The people are hurting. He jumped into the car because he's afraid to talk to the people. If this was D4, 
more. He'd have no problem talking to the people out there. This is Eden Moore. He won't talk to working class people. And the Kenny doesn't represent me. He doesn't represent anyone here. <laughs> And this is day 16, actually, of the water meter protests in the Dublin 8 area, not including the weekends. That's 22 days altogether that we've had uh, the, the contractors all around the area trying to get the, the water meters installed. And we're very happy to report that while they got two boundary boxes in, they haven't gotten any meters all in, at all in the Dublin 8 area. So we're really, really proud of that fact. We're really proud of the fact that the numbers are consistently growing. More and more residents are coming out. We're getting fantastic support from residents and activists as well from other areas. Fair play to them who are coming over. Over. Um, this morning we had about 30 people on the early morning shift, the half seven shift, and the trick obviously is most people know to get down early and stop the, the work before it starts. That's a record number and it's it's phenomenal. Like I mean they didn't even try taking barriers down or anything this morning, so it's completely held here in Rialto today. I'm Carol, I live in Drimina. And when I first got involved with the water protests, I seen it on Facebook that Crumlin were being invaded with water meters. So I went over and helped Crumlin.